Hello and welcome to what will be the start of a brand new collective haul. This is just basically where I compile all of the things that I get throughout the month, whether it has been featured in another video of mine or not. But first, thank you to Tokyo Treat and Sakura Co. for sponsoring today's video. Tokyo Treat and Sakura Co. want to invite everyone to experience Japan from the comfort of their own home through their snack boxes. Tokyo Treat is a monthly Japanese snack subscription box in which you will get up to 20 of the latest, most exclusive, limited edition, and seasonal flavored Japanese snacks. These snacks are only available in Japan for a limited time, like Sakura Pepsi, Japanese Sake, Kit Kats, Ramen, and many more. Sakura Co. is a monthly authentic Japanese snack subscription box that supports local Japanese snack makers. Each box comes with 20 traditional authentic and artisan Japanese snacks, including Japanese teas and a special Japanese tableware. This month's Tokyo treat theme is Snacktacular Christmas. Christmas in Japan is really one of the happiest and yummiest times of the year. The Tokyo treat team is thrilled to bring you a taste of amazing holiday flavors through a Snacktacular Christmas. Packed with a special edition box full of favorite snacks stamped with Santa's approval, like Kit Kat Strawberry Chocolate Cake. Yep, that definitely tastes like strawberry chocolate cake. Christmas Kokuto Donut. Hmm, I like it. Christmas Cake Gummies. That is delicious. Christmas Crunch Mix and many more. Looks like we've got maybe both sweet and savory. We sure do, and it's delicious. This month's Sakura Ko theme is Holidays in Hokkaido. Discover the beauty of winter in Hokkaido, the northern part of Japan. When snow covers everything, Hokkaido becomes a peaceful and inviting place. Celebrate the winter season through authentic Japanese snacks curated by the Sakura Ko team, like milk and chocolate cookie, this is so delicious, and it tastes like something, and I can't figure it out, but I love it. Milk mochi. Apparently, the wrapper is edible, so I'm going to try it that way. Very interesting. I like it, though. And Hokkaido butter cookie. Tastes exactly what you think a butter cookie would taste like, but so good. All pair excellently with matcha and matcha tea. Another amazing green tea. And this month's tableware item is indigo yuzen dish. Each box comes with a special booklet where you can learn more about the snacks you receive as well as allergen information. The booklet also contains a wealth of information about Japanese culture. If you would like to get your own box as a gift to yourself or get it as a gift for your loved ones during this season of gifting, check out the links below in the description box and pinned comment. Now, without further ado, let's take a look at my collective haul. In the case of the albums that we see here, we do have a few that were featured and a few that were not. So what that means is I'm not going to go too in depth with these two, but I will with these two. And I do also have like a little bit of a story behind them. So. That's why we're gonna take a little bit more time with those. So I'm gonna move them out of the way for now and we can look at the two albums that I have here. So I did post a whole Light Up K unboxing with these. I got these together as part of a collaboration with Light Up K and I did go through them thoroughly, but I will go through them a little bit again, not too much, but yeah, basically I had waited quite a while to get this key album. And it was starting to drive me crazy so it was time to pick that up and then i figured what better album to get that with than Taemin. i love both of these albums so much i listen to them both from start to finish neither of them can do any wrong in my books but let's start with keys since it is older and it is quite an interesting album to go through so as you can see it is kind of shaped like a folder i think this is what a standard like job application or resume would look like in Korea. It's a little intense <laughs> compared to what uh, we would have to give here in Canada at least. But um, I just love how creative Key gets with his album concepts. They're so great. So 
as you can see we do have the track list here there's a lot of little funny <laughs> moments within this album that i'd love to touch on but uh, we do have a cute little comment here too if you'd like to pause and read it but i think my favorite song on the album is probably cool as but like i said i listened to the whole thing from start to finish and then on the back we just have oh what it includes and i love that the final line there says please cherish my albums and or sorry my items and keep them safe i think that's so cute and then as you can see we do have a little paper clip here with his photo that does come off and this photo is a separate photo at first i thought it was printed on the album it is not and then we have applicant key so it's a little bit of a tall album so i have a hard time fitting it on my desk <laughs> but here's what it looks like inside i love the little heart that we have up here um, it did get kind of, I don't know if you can even tell, a little bit damaged from the paper clip, which is unfortunate, but that's just the nature of putting a paper clip on an album. But anyway, we do have the photo book here. I'm just going to flip through it really quick so you get a sense of the concept. There were two versions of this file folder. I think one was the good and one was the great version, I think. I can't remember. Um, this one's gray. The other one is more of like a lavender purple, I believe. So I'm not sure what the concept in the other one looks like, but I do really like this one. And I loved like the photo card concepts that came with this version as well, which I will show you the photo card that I got in a second. But we also have this little four cut thing. Again, I don't want to do like a full unboxing, but it's kind of hard not to when the album is just as cool as this. So this is the little lyric book. Very cute. It has these interesting staples that we've seen with sf9 albums in the past and then we do have some other things we have the sm ad we have the cd just looks like that with a little paper airplane oh almost lost the sm ad Ooh, that's my photo card i don't want you to see it yet we do have a poster and that looks like this and then we have, okay, oops, that was the photo card, but here we have more of like the actual resume itself. And there's a lot of funny little moments in here. So like you have to contact him by paper airplane. Um, his about me is cute. Master key to all solutions. <laughs> and then some of his experience is funny. I really like explored an alien planet, but it all kind of like relates to, I believe his solo career, which is really cool. Then we have these different levels here. His languages, he can speak full alien, apparently. Um, his certifications are flying chair driving license and a nursing certification for creatures. Like, this is just so funny to me. I love Key. I think Key is hilarious. And then we have a confidentiality agreement. I confirm that there is no false information in this application and related documents. I will not object to the disadvantages caused by false information. <laughs> Very random. But, um, and then we have this, like, this little poster. I think that's, that's all it is. It's this little paper poster. And then you saw my photo card a couple times. But this is the one that I pulled. I think it is super, super cute. And there's the back. I love it. I love it. So yeah, like I said, I really liked the photo card concepts for this version of the album. And that's the main reason why I chose it. But I also just overall love the concept going on here. So going to move that out of the way. And then we can look at Timmons. This also uh, I featured obviously in my previous video, but there's not a whole lot of inclusions here. So I feel like we could actually kind of go through it a little bit more. You probably just saw my photo card, but here is the front of the album. It's kind of like a taller thin photo book it's quite beautiful though love the typography going on down here and then i love the black and white photography on the back so my favorite song is definitely the Rizness. i don't think anyone is surprised by that and then we can do a quick little flip through of what this album concept looks like absolutely love it it's just so stunning i do also kind of really want the box version of his album it is so cool the way it's in a, like a little shoe box and there's like a secret compartment i just think it's wonderful and it would definitely make my like top album design video at the end of the year so i feel like i should get it but we'll we'll decide that later because it is quite a like a big album like a big concept i don't really know where i'd put it so anyway then we have a poster this is on like the glossiest paper ever it looks almost wet it's that glossy oops we do have the cd as well i really like the case 
or like the slip cover that it's in. And that's what it looks like on the front with some cacti. We have the SM ad. And then we have the photo card. And this is the one that I got. Super adorable. Oh my gosh. And like for both Key and Taman, I don't collect either in full. I just kind of buy one version of the album and keep my pulls. So very happy with the pulls that I got. And I will definitely be keeping both of them, obviously. So that is it for Taman and Key. And now we can move on to the other albums that I had here, which I'm very excited to talk to you about. All right, so as you can see, I have Vanner's albums here. Now, if you've watched a few of my previous videos, you'll know that I did recently get the platform version of this album, and that was the only version that I intended to get. However, my friend Jesse, who I mentioned quite a few times on this channel, he decided to buy a couple of the albums from Makestar because he really enjoyed the pre-order benefits that came with them. And he was left with a bunch of extra copies of these versions. And he asked if I would like to take some off of his hands and I said yes. And the main reason for that was because I wasn't a huge fan of the way that the platform version was constructed. I don't know if you remember, but it was quite flimsy. I did buy it though because my favorite photo card of my bias Hye song was in the platform version so all in all it was still worth it to purchase but I'm so glad that Jesse offered these up to me as well and then he did give me one of the make star uh pre-order benefits which I think I had initially said I was like I, I was gonna buy that off of him anyway and then I just ended up taking extra copies of the album as well so let's just go through them kind of somewhat quickly like I said I have not talked about these at all on my channel yet or, or anywhere I made a little short and that was it so let's do this I don't love albums that have these little like that I always feel like I'm gonna rip them it scares me but anyways, let's see what we've got here. It does come with quite a lot of stuff. I did take the photo cards out and I will show you them after, but that is the slip cover. I guess I can show you what it looks like here. And then there is the title or the track list. My favorite song is Diamonds. I know a lot of people thought I would like Want You Back, which is my second favorite, but for some reason, Diamonds is really the song for me. We do have the CD slip case. So that's what it looks like there and then we do have this little like origami thing and it is to make a little boat which i think is so cute and it fits the, the concept i'm so sorry if you hear drilling right now <laughs> um my neighbors have been doing renovations it seems and it's been quiet all day and then of course when i start to film it's just non-stop drilling so if you hear that i do deeply apologize but it's starting to anger me anyway um yeah as you can see it makes a little boat and like i was saying it kind of fits the concept which we will see in a second but we have this sticker sheet as well this is a very large sticker sheet and i'm happy about it and then we have a member specific poster so this is the one that jesse decided to give me this is gone and he is probably my bias wrecker or second bias i don't really know i don't like to classify things like that anymore but here he is i think he's beautiful is this tattoo real we're going to be what what we were born to be interesting cute and then we have the photo book and like i mentioned the boat kind of makes sense because there's a little bit of a sailor concept here oops this is backwards this is the other side but it kind of goes into the case upside down because of this so like i said oh wait no hold on here we go um it is like a pure sailor concept which i think is super cute i'll show you my bias i might have already passed him it's very possible that i did yeah i did that's okay let me go back just for you where is he here he is this is my bias yes song and um yeah love him so that was the photo book for this version and then i do have photo cards now i don't know which one came from which version but i'm gonna take a wild guess the one with the bluish background is the correct photo card for this version. He is kind of sailor E, I guess. And uh, yeah, so Jesse did pull him in a couple of the albums, I think he said. So here he is. He's super cute and I'm so happy to have him. And then we do have the other version of the album as well. I also don't know the different version names because like I said, I did not go ahead and buy these for myself. So I've done like no research into these albums whatsoever. But let's take a look come here, at what came in this album. So firstly, we have this little name tag and I got Yong Guang. 
I feel like, yeah, there's obviously member specific tags. This one didn't come with a tag and I don't know if that was intentional for that version of the album or if when Jesse was sorting, it just kind of got lost in the shuffle, but that's okay. I don't need it. <laughs> and then we have this, oh wait, no, yeah, no, no, no. This has a poster too. I was gonna say maybe it was that instead of a member poster, but this has a member poster. Um, then we have the CD as well. And then we have an origami thing again, but yeah, I mentioned this in a different video and I called it a cootie catcher and somebody said that that was weird <laughs> and I Googled it and that is, it is a thing. That is what we called them, but I'm wondering if maybe it was like a Canada thing or like, I don't know, but apparently these are like fortune tellers, but we called them cootie catchers, but yeah, we got a little origami thing of that this time instead of a boat. And then we have a sticker sheet and then we do have another member specific poster and jesse was kind enough to give me my bias for this one so there he is lying on the side of a pool we love it i love him i think he's honestly so beautiful so anyway and then we have this version of the album obviously a little darker a little more uh edgy and then this is the back of this side so this is the part that like peeks through the hole in the album. So, and then this is the concept we got here. It's both like dark, but also summery because they're like by a pool. We're living for it. And there's that. So yeah, those are my little, oh wait, and hold on the photo cards. So here is the photo card that I believe goes with this version. Uh, when Jesse gave them to me, these were in, in top loaders. So I'm not really certain that they came from these albums, but the backs, the backs make sense so we're just gonna assume so yeah we have another little cute photo card of his oh i love him and then this was the photo card that i really wanted obviously it is a makes our uh pre-order benefit fan sign but as you can see by the back ah uh, it's a little he's a little cat boy super super cute photo card oh my goodness gracious so very happy to have that. Very happy to have both of these. I, I had no intention of owning them, but I will take them. Thank you, Jesse. And uh, yeah, that brings us to the end of this clip. There's obviously going to be many more. I have a few things on the way, and then I'm also going to both New York and Chicago for two different concerts within like two weeks of each other um, at the end of November and at the beginning of December. So um, yeah, that's going to be a fun time for me. I'm obviously probably going to shop a little bit, so I will be coming home with quite a little haul of goodies, I assume, and those will be in this video as well. So do stay tuned for that and for everything else if you don't want to miss it. Actually, I lied. I'm like closing out this video. No, I'll see you in the next clip. Hello everyone and welcome to the first clip in a brand new K-pop collective haul video. As you can see, we have quite a lot of stuff here some very new things at, at least at the time of me filming this that i'm very excited about and then some older things that i only recently just got so yeah as you can see we have some omega x albums um this is their newest album their third mini it just came out at the time of me filming this at least and i again at the time of me filming this will be going to see them live this week i'm so excited today's monday I don't see them until Sunday, but I do fly to ch to Chicago on Friday. So um, it's getting close. I'm very excited. <laughs> I'm sure you guys will see some like shorts, TikToks. Maybe I'll vlog, like make a full video out of it. I don't know. I'm thinking if I do do a full like length YouTube video, I'll probably combine it with when I go to New York for Woods just because they're like two weeks apart might as well put them into one vlog maybe i don't know let me know if you'd like to see them together or separately actually by the time you see this i don't know that you'll have a choice in the matter because it might have already come out i don't know it takes me a while to get these collective haul videos out so anyway let's just begin with the omega x albums now the thing is i did like a full unboxing for these so i'm not going to go into too much depth but we can talk about them so this was the on version of if you know you know and it is a slip jacket or a slip cover. Okay, it was a lot easier to get out before. I don't know what I did wrong putting it back in, but hopefully I can get it out of here. Oh, there we go. So this one is super reflective. I'm gonna step back, but this is what the album looks like. Let me just get some of those pulls out of there, but oh my gosh, everything is flying. Okay, so here we have the CD. Again, very reflective. 
photo book and then we have the photo so i'm just going to do a quick flip through i will say this photo book is a little stiff it's kind of hard to like open without feeling like i'm gonna break it <laughs> but oh wait i shouldn't put that back in yet but oh, the reflective cover there we go so what the album came with was this poster it is a full member poster i just said i wasn't going to do a full unboxing and like here i am not really but like kind of we have a little receipt it has all of the members and like what page you can find them on in the photo book and then i have the photo cards now i have them off to the side over here because i already filmed it like i said but from this version we got this unit card super cute it has two of my biases in it han Gyung and Jaehan. so definitely keeping that and then i also pulled the most adorable photo of seven ever i would love to keep this for myself but i need to trade him to the members that I collect so if you want to trade with me you can check out my Instagram can't promise that he'll still be there but my Instagram is usually pretty up to date so feel free to check that out so that was the first version the on version and then we have the off version so again it is just a slip cover this version is not reflective and it has a white cover rather than a black one. Oh, there was also sticker sheets I'll show you them after I set them aside because I was gonna use them in my bullet journal but here is the photo book again kind of stiff hard to um to kind of flip through easily and we have the cd at the back and then the receipt again this time it's white and then the other poster slightly different from the other version that we saw but i love it and then let me grab the stickers this is what they look like I think in oh yeah no they are kind of different i was gonna say in my unboxing i was like oh the stickers seem different from one another and they are they're slightly different kind of close to being the same but slightly different and then the photo cards from this version of the album i got this unit card again uh it contains one of the other members that i collect we have jen here super super cute unit and then for my selfie card i actually pulled hengum who is a member that i collect one of i think he yeah my one of obviously top three members he was the first member that i collected so very special to have him i don't think i've ever pulled a handgun but i'm not really 100 percent certain i can't remember but anyway so that was my omega x unboxing not unboxing my i guess omega x albums if you want to see a proper full unboxing i will link that down below but let's move that out of the way because we have a lot of NCT albums to get through here. So as you can see, I finally have some ISTJ albums. Now this album did come out not a long time ago, but quite a bit ago now. Um, I did join a group order for them and I joined with somebody new this time, not for any other reason other than I missed the deadline for my usual group order manager because I was saving money, I think, at that point for something else. I can't remember. And then um, I also happened to find a group order manager that was located really close to me and I could do a pickup, which my other group order manager, I, I can't. Not that the shipping is very expensive anyways, like it's not a problem. But I was like, you know what, let me just try this out and we'll see how it goes. But you know how SM is and albums were delayed and I only got these albums in November. <laughs> so that was a fun time, but I will share the group order manager's information in case you are interested. So just know that they are located somewhere in the GTA. I don't want to obviously give away exactly where I live, but they were close to me. I think they did say that they're moving though. So they actually won't be doing pickups at the location that I picked my albums up from anymore, which is the whole, one of the reasons at least that I chose to go with them. So I'm glad I got at least one group order with them in um, and then moving forward. I could still order from them. I would just have to get them shipped, unfortunately, but that's fine because that's what I've been doing anyway. As you can see, we have a little bit of a Chunlo moment over here. He is my bias from NCT Dream and that is who I collect from NCT Dream. And then I do have some parts of these albums on the chair behind me because I did also just film a TikTok of these. So. Um, I will, again, kind of go through them quickly because there is a lot here and they're kind of older. People have already seen them. Let's start with the, like, photo book versions. I don't know if they have, like, 
a proper name or not, but we have this one, which is more of an orange theme. And we have this one, which is more of a blue theme. I think this paper is glossy and I really feel like the other one I just looked through was matte. Let's double check. Yeah, different paper types, which is cool. So we have a matte version and a glossy version. And I'll show you what came in these. So firstly, for the orange one, we get this poster. And then on the back, it has their thanks too. We of course have the SM ad. We have the CD. Let's get it out of here. Looks like this. And then there's the back. We have a little photo and we got Mark. This one is printed on kind of like a photo paper. And then for my photo card, I got Chunla. Super cute. So there's the, I'm gonna call it the orange version for now. And then for the blue, we also get a poster, which also has the thanks to on the back. Again, we have an SM ad, we have CD and then we also have another photo but this is on like a thicker cardstock almost and it looks kind of polaroidy like it's not quite it's a bigger size it's different paper it's interesting choice to have them so different but I'll take it and then for my photo card I got Chunla and I also obviously got Chunla for that polaroid I didn't even say but yeah so we got two Chunla photo cards, which is very exciting, and then one of his larger inclusions. I don't collect larger inclusions, but when I do get them, I always keep them, obviously. I mean, I keep whoever I get, but when I get a member I collect, it's always nice. So that is the two photo book versions. So obviously I did join this group order um, in hopes of pulling Chunla. So that's who I signed up for. Obviously it's not guaranteed, just like any group order. They, the group order managers are not magicians and they cannot control the pulls that they get. So I could be the only person who claims Chunla, but let's say the group order manager pulled zero Chunla, then I get who I get and I don't get upset. So then that's it. And that's how group orders work. So we also do have the vending machine version. I have half of the contents behind me, but let's just open it up. So I think this packaging is pretty cool. The fact that it looks like a vending machine and we have this like little window at the front. But here is what the little photo book looks like. I really love the colors going on with these albums. So there is that. This version came with a lot of like postcards and things you'll see, but this is where the CD is. It's in like this folder. Looks like that. Again, typical SM ad. We have a poster. This one's bigger than the other one, so I'm not sure I'll be able to fit the whole thing, but that's what it looks like. And then on the back, again, we have the same thanks to. We have a sticker sheet. So I think out of all of the versions, this is the one where you're going to get like the most bang for your buck. Like you're getting a lot more stuff. We have this stack of postcard type. They're kind of thin, but I'll have this image on the front and then the same image, just like with a color overlay. So, and you get two per member. So this is the little set. those and then we do have the photo cards which came with two the first being a unit card and we have Heichan, Jeno, and Chunla. beautiful and then I have the selfie card and as you can tell probably by the signature it's not Chunla. I did get Ronjun who is my uh, second bias I guess you could say in dream so yeah I just assume either I wasn't quick enough to claim Chunla or they only pulled like either none or one or whatever it is and that's totally fine so i will be trading him even though i so badly want to keep him but i will be trading him to chunla's equivalent so you can check out my instagram if you're interested again can't promise he'll still be there by the time this video goes up but you know you can check whatever other trades and things i have for sale if you'd like then we do have 
the poster version, which these are apologies, my phone ran out of storage, so that was fun. But I was saying I did get the poster version, which is a new version that SM is doing where it's kind of replacing digipacks and it's basically like just a folded up poster that contains all of the contents. I don't know how I feel about them and I'll tell you why. The CD is just floating in here like that. So mm, if I did actually want to use the poster, where am I putting the CD? Like, I don't know. I, I don't, I don't know. I kind of prefer it to just be a, a case and you just give me a little poster instead or something. I don't know. It's a cool poster though. So <laughs> there is the Chun Love poster or I guess even the case. I don't know. <laughs> so there's that. SM ad as per usual. And then we get a smaller set of little postcards this time. Look like this. And then yeah, like I said, oh, I think a sticker just flew and I don't know where it went. I'll have to find that after. But we have the C D, which again, like I said, is just kind of floating in there, which I don't love. And I don't think a sticker actually did fly because they're all here, at least all the ones that I remember. We have three different like energy drink looking <laughs> stickers. And then we have a pop tab or two pop tabs making little hearts, I guess. There's that. And then we do have the CD with or the CD, the postcard postcard. Am I okay? The photo card, which you kind of saw when I opened it up. I love the colors of this both back and front. <laughs> the colors are wild, but we did get Chunla, so that's super exciting for me. There that version is. Then we have this version, which is kind of like a polka version. I don't know if it had a different name, but I'm going to call it the polka version for now, which is basically a stack of photo cards and some other things. So we have this piece of string, and I'll tell you why. If I could get everything out, that would be lovely. I did not get everything out. There we go. So we have this little Chunla ornament charm thing, and that's what the string is for. Goes through that hole at the top. We got a Chunla sticker. We have the polka version instructions. I believe English is on the other side. Yep. And then you get this stack of photo cards. These feel kind of thicker than regular photo cards, but maybe not. But anyways, we have a group photo and then a bunch of Chunlas. there those all are and then of course we have a selfie card and we got chumla <laughs> so we did really well with the chumla pulls we still have one more version to look at though this is the s mini version or sm mini i don't know i say s mini but i've heard people say it different ways and then you just kind of pick this out and then i'll show you what the s mini itself looks like you get this little um, I forget what type of keychains these are called, like a ball keychain. And then you have this little tiny mini jewel case looking thing. We got Chunlas, obviously. Now, I have been struggling to open this. My sister had to open it for me the other day. And I, I couldn't, I can't. I literally can't open it. And I don't know why. So anyways, uh, but there is like a little circle thing inside, which is pretty cool. But I can't show it to you. And then we have this thing, which I pulled out earlier. You just kind of open it up. And then your poles are inside so the first thing in there actually is just instructions again on how to use it and then we have the selfie card and as you can see we got chunla so yeah we did very very well with pulling chunla so grateful to the group order managers for um organizing this and organizing pulls and doing all of that hard work and yeah, it looks like I just have one photo card to trade, which really is not that bad. Oh, wait, and then there were like these extra cards in there, and I don't know if these were like pre-order benefits or fan signs or what they're from, but I did get three of them from the group order manager, and they were in like plastic, well, two of them were in like sealed plastic things. So um, yeah, I don't really know where they're from, but we'll look at this first one, and we got Chunla. So maybe I'll do some research, or you can tell me in the comments where these cards are from. Next one we have is Ranjin, super cute. 
And then the last one we got was another chunla. So yeah, a lot, a lot, a lot of chunla here. Very happy about it. So yeah, thanks again. Oh wait, and then they did, sorry, I keep seeing things on my desk. They did give me two little freebie chunla stickers too. So thanks again to the group order manager for, or I think there's two group order managers for organizing this. And that brings us to the end of this clip. I think at the beginning, I said that this was the first clip but I don't think it is. I think it's the second clip. So anyways, um, I'll see you in the next one. Hello everyone and welcome to what will be the final clip in this collective haul video because as you can see, I have way too many things to talk to you about today. I know we're three clips into this video already, but if you have not yet grabbed a snack or a drink, please do because we have like three different sets of things I'd like to talk to you about today and it might take a little bit, but in like a good way. So, some things I want to talk to you about are some newer K-pop albums that I got. I also want to talk to you about stuff that I purchased in Chicago that is not K-pop related. And then also everything I got from Chicago that was K-pop related and that relates to the Omega X concert that I went to, which is just, oh, it was such a good time and we'll talk about it. But yeah, so like I said, we've got a lot to go through. I just want to get right on in on it. What? I just want to get right to it. So let me start with the K-pop albums. I don't know if I should include this Espo one here or with the stuff I bought in Chicago, but I think I'll include it with these K-pop albums and then I'll, I'll talk about it. But everything else I'm gonna move off camera for now just so we have more room to look at these guys. All right, so first things first, we have four different K-pop albums to go through. Like I said, I did actually end up purchasing this one in Chicago. It is Espa's newest album and the reason I bought it there was because I bought it at Target um, and I think it only it only came with one photo card. I'm not sure that it was supposed to probably and it was like an American exclusive but it didn't come with any Korean photo card so I assume that this whole album is just an American exclusive. Like could you buy this cover at a Korean store? Like I don't know but anyway I just bought it because I saw it there and I figured I would and it said Target exclusive and as a Canadian I don't have a Target so when I'm in the US I go to Target and Barnes and Noble and buy what um what I'd like to own because while the conversion rate is maybe not the best getting that extra bonus card that I typically am unable to get is always a bonus for me so here's what the photo book looks like super cool very Espa I love it I don't know if this slipcover has an image on the inside. No, it does not. So there is that. It's pretty thin. It's a little flimsy, not my favorite in terms of packaging, but it is what it is. Then we have the CD. I did put my photo card in here to keep it protected while I traveled. So let me take it out. So we have the CD and I believe it is a member specific cover. Yes, it is. And I got winter who is my bias so that's cool for me i don't even think i realized that when i bought it to be honest with you i don't i didn't take the cd out so that was pretty cool and then i did get this card which i blue i believe no which i believe is the american exclusive i'm just realizing my lighting was very crappy that whole time i hope that's better but um yeah so i think it's the american exclusive and it says thank you for the love and support I'll always be with you and then Mize. I, I never really knew how to say the fandom name. I'm not going to lie. Um, and then love you so much. So I did get Karina. So here she is. She is stunning as always. And uh, yeah, so that was my little American exclusive uh, album, which is always fun. I will be putting Karina up for trade for winter on my Instagram. So if you're interested, you can go ahead and check that out. Hopefully she's still up there by the time you see this. I don't know that she will be. Then next up, I'm just going to move some things out of the way. I'll keep what I talk about on screen and then, yeah. So I did recently get Stray Kids' most recent album. This is the limited version as well. Again, not very impressed by the structure of it it is literally just a perfect bound book and that's it um so that's a little frustrating and then I took all of the inclusions out but it was a big chunk of inclusions that were just shoved in there you can't really see any damage um you can kind of see maybe where they were um inside because it kind of bows out a little bit but really not that bad however for something that's supposed to be like limited I feel like this is very basic 
in terms of construction. Not that I don't like it, it's just when something is supposed to be limited or of higher value or whatever it might be, I kind of just want a little bit more from it other than just a small photo book. I don't know, maybe that's just me. I'm not really, like I'm not complaining about it. I do like it, but I just kind of wish there was a bit more, you know? And like I said, I did keep all of the inclusions off to the side because I have already opened this. So I have the poster here. It's quite large and it is basically kind of like a collage. Like there's multiple photos of the group. So it looks like there's just like so many members when really it's just um, Stray Kids re repositioned three times. So there is that. And then we do have the CD. So it looks like this. We have this little kind of card thing and it's the a full member group photo. We have this little four cut photo as well. It is a little bit see-through as you can see. We also have this little member specific mini poster, I guess. And I got Ban Chan, who is um, my friend Jesse's bias. I don't know if he'll want that, but I will hold it for him. We have some stickers and I really, really, really love the colors of these. Very excited to put those in my journal. And then we do have these kind of uh, Polaroid style photos. This was around them. I took it off, but I think they're called belly bands in the design world, at least something that's around uh, other things, keeping them all together. Pretty sure it is a belly band, but we have Hyunjin, Chanbin. Oops, I just threw Hyunjin, my bad. Um, Lino and Bang Chan. So I guess I got Hyung Line. I guess they come in either Hyung Line or Mathne Line. Am I correct? I don't know. I did not look at the details. I'm not gonna lie. And then we got a unit card. And here we go. I got Jisung and Hyunjin. Very cute. Love the design that's going on here. All of the neon pink is great. And then I did get a selfie card as well and i got felix and he looks so good in this photo i absolutely love it so there's that and then lastly i did get a pre-order benefit and as you can tell by the back i got hyunjin super super cute i'm not sure what store benefit that was i ordered from light up k but um they usually just give the pre-order benefits that they get i assume when they get their stock of the album so that's what I got. I will look into what that is. And as per usual, Changbin said, no, <laughs> you don't get to pull me. So again, I will be putting these cars up for trade for Changbin equivalents. You can check out my Instagram. I do have a wish list up as well, um, but I will be trading for the, I don't know. I feel like the photo cards you could get in any version, but I could be wrong. Maybe not any version, but if it's in the limited, could you get it in the regular? I don't know. If these are just limited specific photo cards then I'll be trading for limited only but anyway just hit me up on Instagram and we can talk about it then next up I did get Hansei's newest um single album which is in this little jewel case honestly I don't mind this jewel case it is very sturdy like this is not a cheap jewel case at all and I just kind of like the way it looks I don't know the design is amazing so if you open it up it also has like kind of a little clasp thing there I don't know but let me get this photo book out because I want to show you the photos, but also want to show you that our, there are some uh, little teddy bears just kind of printed right directly on the, the uh, jewel case itself, which I think is cool. But this is the little mini photo book, obviously continuing to support Hansei and every single member of Victin as they do their own little things. So very happy to have this album in my hands. And then what I thought was pretty cool was there was this like little mini booklet and it's kind of the like credits. So it looks like this, but it's the shape of the CD and it was kind of just like popped right on top of the disc, which I think is very interesting. Um, and then the disc itself is designed in a really cool way as well. The same little teddy bears that we see on the front. So overall, honestly, a really nice, nicely designed album for a jewel case, in my opinion. I think it's beautiful. So let me just get this back in here there's that and then we can look at my inclusions so firstly we get a poster it's actually double-sided so this is the first side and then this is the other 
super beautiful. So there's that. And then we get a sticker, which I absolutely love going right in my journal. And then lastly, I got a photo card and it is a selfie card. You only get one. There's a few, but I'm only going to be collecting this one. And this is the one I got. I think it is so cute. I absolutely love it. So I'm very happy to have that. Lastly, I did get Taeyong's little S mini um, fact check album. And oh gosh, I keep hitting the tripod. I do apologize. But let's get this out so we can look at it. As always, it comes with the little ball chain thing. And then we have the little, little tiny um, S mini album, I guess. And then you open it up if I can. There we go. And it has this little like circle in it. <laughs> Very cute. Um, so there is that. And then as always, you have this little thing in which you open. There's another photo of him inside. Open it again. The photo card was in there. I did take it out already, but you also have like the instructions on how to use the S mini album. And then the photo card I got, as you can tell by the signature, was Johnny. And it's so funny because I actually just purchased like a little set of his cards on Mercari and this was one of them. <laughs> I really didn't think I was going to pull him and I did. So there he is. So I would love to trade to Taeyong if at all possible. Again, I will post that on my Instagram and uh, you can hit me up if you have Taeyong and would like Johnny. That is all of the new K-pop albums that I have gotten recently. Very, very excited. Hello, can you stay? Thank you. Very exciting time for me. Um, I got home from my trip to Chicago and these three albums were waiting for me here. So that was always fun. It's always fun to come back to a package. Um, and then, yeah, and this was something that I did get in Chicago. Speaking of, the next segment we'll talk about is stuff that I got in Chicago that is not Omega X concert related. And then we'll move right into the Omega X stuff as well. So let me clean this up and we can do that. Okay, so next up we have some stuff that I picked up in Chicago that is not Omega X concert related. And as you can see, I didn't really buy myself a lot of stuff. I did buy a couple other things that aren't here that I either gave to my sister or our secret Christmas presents that I cannot show on this channel because people watch this channel, I think, that might see it. So anyway, <laughs> this is the little mini haul of stuff that I bought for myself that wasn't like food while I was there. So firstly, I have this like hard shell suitcase and I like to buy a little sticker that I can put on it for everywhere that I've traveled. So I got this beautiful Chicago sticker. I absolutely love the design of it. And then I also got these little star face pimple patches. Now, these are technically available in Canada, just like not in stores. Like I feel like you have to order them online. I've never seen them in a store in my life. And every time I try to order them online, I did it once and it was fine. And I got them and they were a decent price and it was all good. And then ever since then, I've been trying to buy them again because I ran out. And every time I go to the website, it's like, if you spend this amount of money, you get free shipping. And it says it in Canadian dollars. So like, I don't get why every time I hit that threshold and I go to check out, I'm still getting charged shipping on top of it. And it's like 30 to $40 shipping. I don't get it. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. So I haven't been able to buy anything since. Um, and I actually really do enjoy the little star face um, sticker pimple patches. So when I went to Chicago, I found a Target and I saw them there and I bought them very fast because they were pretty cheap, even after conversion rate. And I'm like, hey, if I don't have to pay that shipping fee, I will buy them. So yeah, I just got the regular, it says mini pack of 16 stars. I think these are just the regular size though. And then these ones have salicylic acid in it. And up here it says this is the actual size. So I don't know if they're bigger than them or not. There are 32 of them in here though. Um, so yeah. I don't know if they're the same size or not, but this has more than that one does. That's all I know. I haven't opened them yet. And then I got this little Kuropi set. I did find a five below. And as soon as I saw Kuropi, I went for it, obviously, because he's my favorite. As you can see, it costs $5. But I've been to five below in Ohio when I was visiting a friend. And they have so many Kuropi things all the time. And it makes my heart so happy. So when I saw these... I was like, yes, please. I want it. Why was that there? That's weird. Um, but yeah, they're just like these little, like, I don't know if you can tell, but they're a little fuzzy. And they're just little 
oh i apologize for that sound but they're just little figures so i have this little kobe he's a little dented in his eyeballs <laughs> but that's okay so there he is and then i also have this little like cup bubble tea i don't know what you want to call it but they are just so cute and they're just gonna live on either my shelf or my desk so there's those and then obviously going to chicago my favorite thing is the bean i love the bean so i wanted like oh I revealed the surprise, but <laughs> I wanted like my own little mini bean. <laughs> I noticed when I was like Googling, not Googling, but we were looking for souvenir shops on Google and then there was pictures of little like bean figures. I'm like, that is all I want for myself is a little bean. And I found one, but it is also <laughs> a sharpener. So it is a functional little bean and I'm so excited to have it. So there's my little bean. And basically that is everything that I got in Chicago that wasn't food, snacks, candy which is already gone i didn't really buy candy i don't know why i said that um or gifts for friends so there was my little mini haul nothing too crazy but now we can move into everything that is omega x related and it is a lot okay so it is time to talk about all of the stuff i got at the omega x concert and oh my god we're gonna have a little bit of a story time here as well because obviously i want to talk to you about my experience but let's just go through things first i kind of divided it in half i got some things at a cup sleeve event and then i got some stuff at the concert so let's start with cup sleeve event so basically i had been staying tuned on twitter to see if there was going to be any cup sleeve event while i was there for omega x and of course there was so i had prepaid for a tier the fourth tier i think it was the highest tier and that way i got all of the goodies that there were available so first of all there's this beautiful tote bag which is the main reason that i wanted this entire tier because like i just think it is stunning i actually brought it with me to the concert as well and it was perfect for holding my album and all the other things that i got but i do want to show you what else i got at the cup sleeve event but as you can see like it's a beautiful beautiful bag and like the design on it as well is just stunning so let's start with the cup sleeve itself here it is. Stunning. Gorgeous. I think the person that designed this also designed the concert banner. I didn't get one only because when I'm traveling, especially with just carry on, it's going to get ruined. So I didn't get one, but look at how beautiful this is. Oh, so good. So that was the cup sleeve itself. Let's see. What can I, I just want to grab it surprise wise. Okay. we got a freebie photo card. So here's what the back looks like. I love that it's specific to Chicago because it's just going to be such a memory for me. And it was random and I got Taedong and look at him with this dog. Oh my God. It is just the cutest possible freebie I could have gotten. Next up, another reason I really wanted this tier was because of this keychain. I absolutely love hotel style keychains and the fact that this one, again, is very specific to Omega X and like the specific tour. I feel like it's just a really good souvenir and it was so beautiful like look at everything together it's so stunning and i'm not done <laughs> there was also where's the other one i want to find both well i found one and i'll find the other but there was these little like hair ties again very specific to this specific date of the tour in chicago so i love that's another memory they were saying you could wear it as a bracelet you could actually use it as a hair tie oh i kind of twisted it up but we do have a second one in here somewhere here it is and then last but not least we got a card holder oh wait no 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 wait hold on there's a sticker i just found it there was this sticker as well that's going in my bullet journal memories forever and then <laughs> we do get a card holder so i'm gonna show you the back first because i did put a photo card in it so here is the back of it again stunning and like the quality of this thing it is so thick and like just i don't know it just feels so good it's a great quality photo card holder and then <laughs> I have a little Sebin photo card in here now. If you watched my Omega X, if you know you know album unboxing, you know that I pulled Sebin and I was originally going to trade him away. But let me tell you at this concert, I think he stole my heart the most. And I was like, never mind. I'm gonna keep it and I'm gonna keep it in the photo card holder in which represents the concert in which he stole my heart so <laughs> there he is in the photo card holder and i'm not trading him anymore he's staying with me so as you can see this cuff sleeve event i thought was 100 absolutely worth 
the tier, like how much you had to pay for this tier, I believe it was 20 USD. And for me in Canadian dollars, it's kind of closer to 30, but regardless, a tote bag, a functional item, a photo card holder, which of course is functional if you're a K-pop fan, you're going to put all kinds of photo cards in photo card holders. And the fact that it's specific to Omega X, I feel like where else am I going to get that? And like the keychain, oh my gosh. Yeah, so definitely worth the tier for me. I absolutely love it all. And if I didn't pay for this, like, and I didn't have this tote bag, I kind of would have been screwed at the concert because I didn't think about how I was going to be carrying that album around so again thank you to everyone who organized this cup sleeve event i'll put their like handles up on the screen because i do still have all of their information um i did end up i think i'm following one of the people on twitter as well so yeah i made a lot of friends at this concert guys and i will talk about my experience in just a second but oh my god what a day so let me just move these out of the way and then we can look at my concert specific stuff Okay, so for those who don't know, I did get the VVIP Plus Pass, which I really didn't think I was going to end up getting because at the time of me buying this ticket, I did not have early access for Studio Pass uh, concerts yet. I had never purchased a VIP or VVIP or whatever it was uh, ticket on my own and with my own account in the past. I've just never been able to. When I refreshed and refreshed and refreshed, on general admission ticketing day. I did not expect to see VVIP Plus still just chilling there and I clicked that shit so fast. I bought that shit so fast and I ended up number 81. So I obviously wasn't like super um, high up in the tiers. Like I wasn't, you know, one to 20 or whatever. The fact that I was even able to get one though, never gonna complain about that. So for those who don't know, where can I find the information? So I can tell you what, actually, let me just remember it with my brain. So what you got for being bvip plus was a fan chat which is like an equivalent to like a fan sign um but they call it a fan chat because you get to talk to each member one-on-one -on -one for one minute each <laughs> while they're signing your album so let me move my little polaroids out of the way for a second so this is the album that i chose to bring it was their first mini album and um hold on let me finish what i was saying so you get fan sign or sorry fan chat then you get high touch and you get group photos and then you get obviously VIP style seating so they call you out number by number and when your number is called you can go and pick well ours was general admission so I got to go and pick wherever I wanted to stand personally is that everything that we got you also get the poster the lanyard I think that's it but in terms of experiences it was fan sign high touch group photos Let's talk about my fan sign experience for a very quick second. I did do a whole thread on Twitter about it, and I might just pull that up so I can remember and then I'll add um, extra little comments because as you know, Twitter, you can only say so much and I didn't want the thread to get so long. So I'll add little comments here. But basically, my Omega X fan chat experience, I took or I made notes um, as soon as I was done because I did not want to forget anything. And that is where this thread came from. <laughs> so I wrote it in order of how the lineup was. So the first member I'm about to talk about was the first person I talked to and then so on and so on down the line. So like I said, you get to talk to everyone for a minute each. Let me tell you that is the longest minute of my life. And the fact that there is 11 members, that was the longest 11 minutes of my life. <laughs> but it was so, so, so worth it. I had no idea. I had like a rough idea kind of what I was gonna say to everyone, but not really. I knew I wanted to bring up the fact that I had come from Toronto to be there. But other than that, <laughs> I was kind of just winging it. And uh, yeah, that was a lot. Um, so let me just tell you about each member real quick. So Sebin was first and um, he was very calming and very flirty, <laughs> let's put it that way. So what i had made in my notes was that he was touching up my hands which he really was he um he did the whole like interlocking like he initiated it and then he was all like like this i don't know he was like touching my hands and it was a lot but maybe he could tell i was nervous i don't know he was calming me down but he did say <laughs> that i was really pretty and i was like oh thank you um and then i explained you know i from toronto i came from canada and then he told me that he has a friend who works at a starbucks in toronto apparently so that was pretty fun um, but yeah, he was just super, super nice, um, and just very cute. He stole my heart. Like I said, like I, I am leaving this concert fully a seven stand at this point, like might as well, uh, buy his four members at this point. 
Then after him, I got to talk to Yechen. And um, I, again, had brought up that I was from Toronto, that I came here to see him. His English was also, like, all of them were really, really good. Obviously, some were a little more shy and more reserved. So, um, but Yechen and his English, it, it, he was, like, he was great. So, yeah, I, I mentioned that I had come from Toronto, whatever, whatever. I told him that I had watched his drama and that I really loved it and that he was a great actor. And then he <laughs> said, um, I have a question for you. And I was, I, I tweeted this and it, it, people, a lot of people saw it. So you might already know, but he was like, I have a question for you. And I was like, oh, okay. Like, sure. And he was like, why are all Canadians so pretty? And I was like, kind of taken aback. I was like, oh, oh, thank you so much. Um, I'm not sure. Free healthcare. <laughs> and I still to this day cannot believe that I said that to him, but the way he laughed after I said that and the way I was like oh my god after I said that and we were just both laughing like I feel like it was worth it I've never felt like a bigger idiot in my life but <laughs> I think it was worth it because it was so funny and it was all I could think about after like I was just like I cannot believe I did that why did I say that but anyway that was that and then next up was Taedong and oh my gosh, he was just so quiet, so shy, and so sweet. We were both obviously, well, I, I was obviously very, very nervous, but I think he was as well, not because of me, but just in general, like just talking to people. Um, and he was just such a, a quiet, quiet guy. So there was a moment where we had a little bit of an awkward silence, like I didn't know what to say, he didn't know what to say, and we just both kind of laughed with each other. So that was fun. <laughs> um, he's so cute, he's so precious, I love him. And then next up was Hui Chen, and to be quite honest with you, I think I blacked out because I couldn't really remember a lot of what he said. I know that he was super attentive and he was talking to me a lot. Um, and I had brought up again the fact that I was from Canada, whatever, and he said he really wanted to come to Canada, but however, um, not in the winter. And we were talking about, like, he was asking me if it was as cold as it was in Chicago, and I was like, honestly, yeah, <laughs> just kind of how it is. I feel like Chicago, honestly, is like a different kind of cold compared to Toronto, though. Like, you feel it in your bones in Chicago. Um, and yeah, but anyways, he did say he wanted to come to Canada, but definitely not in the winter, which valid. Then it was Jaehyun, and he, again, after I said I was from Canada, because I literally, I kid you not, brought it up with every single member. <laughs> um, he asked what Canadian food he should try. And I honestly, like just quickly at the top of my head, tried to figure out what was the first Canadian like food I could think of. And I said, poutine. <laughs> and I don't even like poutine. Um, but I figured that that would be a little bit easier to explain than like beaver tails. <laughs> Which, Google beaver tail. It's not a real beaver tail, guys. We don't eat beaver tails. So I said poutine, and then I had to kind of explain that it's like fries, cheese, curds, and gravy, which I don't know if he fully understood what that, what all of that was, but hopefully if he does go to Canada, he'll try some poutine, but hopefully he gets it in Quebec, because I don't think getting it anywhere else is a, a good first poutine to try. <laughs> Maybe that's why I don't like poutine. I've never had it from Quebec. Thinking about it later, I probably should have said like ketchup chips or something, but whatever. Then next up was Jehan, who, as you may know, is one of my biases, one of the three members that I collect. And he was just so, so precious. I told him, again, he's in the same drama as Yechen, so I told him that I loved his drama, that I loved his smile, and that I thought it is, or that I think it is so cute. And he honestly, genuinely seemed so happy. Like, he was like, oh, really? And like, so happy, smiling. I don't even know. I honestly, truly do love his smile though he is so precious to me and honestly it was just very it was a lot like just sitting across from him and talking to him because like i said he's one of my biases so it was just like a surreal experience then right after him it was jen who as you know is also a member that i collect who is one of my biases um and he was the member that actually wrote to maria down here so he did ask me what my name was um the other members had not asked yet and i didn't i didn't even know why i didn't think to like introduce myself and like tell them my name I, I i honestly didn't a few of them asked me my name and i don't know why i didn't just like open the conversation with that next time next time i'm gonna make that top of mind to be like hi my name's maria <laughs> because yeah i feel like half of them I, they don't know my name because i didn't say it but anyways jen did write my name here um he had to he it was actually really good he was like he wrote it he got up to the i and then he didn't know what to do after that so i told him another a and you're good so anyways again after mentioning that i had come from canada he said he really really wants to come to canada as well and i was like oh, okay cool like because of, I think it was Hui Chen who did not want to come in the winter. I'm like, maybe come in the summer, like the spring, fall. And he was like, no, I like the winter. I'm like, oh, oh, 
okay, well then Canada is the place for you. Um, in the winter, by all means, come on down. And then he also asked if I liked Justin Bieber or Drake, which, eh, not really my cup of tea, but I was like, oh, like, yeah, because <laughs> I didn't want to be like, no. Um, and then he also was very fist bumpy. Like he kept giving me fist bumps during the fan chat. And I also do have a snapshot with him that I'll show you later. And he um, initiated another fist bump when we were done taking our photo together. So that was a big thing with the snapshots, which I'll talk about more soon. But obviously you don't want to make them uncomfortable or anything in that way. Like, you know, you just go up, you pick your pose, you pose with them, you say thank you, you walk away. You don't touch them, you don't do anything, you don't hug them. And I'm uh, obviously totally 100% okay with that. Like, you, I would not ever, ever, ever want to make any of these artists uncomfortable. They're already probably tired from just playing a show for us. And like, I don't know, obviously you got to respect them. You don't touch them, like I said, unless, you know, they initiate it. So he gave me little fist bumps after our snapshot and it just made my heart so happy because I love Jen, obviously one of my biases. So then right after Jen was Hengum. So if you're keeping track, all three of my biases were in a row. So um, for me, that was a lot mentally, emotionally, physically, spiritually. Um, it took me a minute to even realize that that was what was about to happen. Like I, I was in like the third row of people that was going up to talk to them. So I don't even think I noticed until like halfway through me waiting that they were all next to each other and like, oh dear God. So anyways, Hengum was the first member that stood out to me, the first member I started collecting. And to be honest, when I sat down in front of him, I completely blacked out. I barely remember what I said to him. I obviously did bring up Canada again and all of that fun stuff. But what I do remember is that he was very, very talkative. Like I did not need to use my brain. Like he was <laughs> initiating this, the, the talking and saying he wanted to come to Canada and doing like, I barely, not that I barely spoke, but like I never felt like I needed to fill in any like awkward silences or gaps. Like he just kept talking and I appreciate him so much for that. And then Jungwoon was right after him and he was also very talkative. And I once again also blacked out. I feel like it's the members in which they were doing most of the talking where I like just don't remember because when they're asking you questions and you're just sitting there like, um, um, I don't know, I, I do, uh, you're, you're like panicking. So I feel like that happened with him as well. I really don't remember anything that we talked about. All I do know is that he was super kind, like just the friendliest person and very, very, very talkative. And I love him for that. Then next up, we had Kevin, who is the most adorable human you will ever meet in your life. He's just so cute <laughs> and he asked me what my favorite omega x songs were and he was like genuinely interested in in hearing me answer that but he also asked me if i was here by myself after i said i had flown from canada and i was like oh well, like my mom is here in chicago like with me but she didn't come to the concert but you know she's like she's she's out there somewhere and he was genuinely like worried about my mom he was like by herself and i was like I mean, yeah, <laughs> she's, a, she's an adult, I'm an adult, it's, it's you know, <laughs> but he was genuinely like concerned about my mom being by herself. Um, meanwhile, she was just shopping at Macy's, which she had never been to, so she was very excited to be there, but it was just so cute that he was like actually concerned about her. <laughs> and then finally, the last person that I talked to was Hyuk, and all I can say is that he is a very beautiful, beautiful human being. My actual notes say that he's hot, but anyways, um, again, I brought up being from Canada and he physically pinky promised me he stuck out his finger and I hooked it real quick and he said that he would 100% come to Canada he promised so I'm holding him to that no I'm kidding um I'm just so happy that I even had this opportunity to begin with but I would really appreciate it if they came back because I would pay for this experience all over again um, and he also did really want to know what my favorite Omega X songs were and he was very happy <laughs> to know that I really liked like the upbeat like pump up ones um, and then he also told me what his favorite songs were. And do you think I can remember? No, <laughs> I can't. I blacked out. But he was having a whole conversation with me, which, um, again, I appreciate him for that. I can honestly say that if you have the opportunity to get VVIP Plus or whatever tier it might be to be a part of a fan chat with any of the artists, it is so worth it. Like, yeah, it's pricey, but what an experience like i'll be thinking about this forever oh and i forgot to say hyuk drew this little heart for me so oh just so stunning 
what a great day like I honestly it was just wow <laughs> I keep thinking about it and I keep remembering like little details here and there and it was just so good and then like obviously the concert itself was amazing going back and like high-fiving them all for high touch and them actually like it felt like at least that a couple of them remembered me from the fa fan chat like obviously it was like two seconds prior but like <laughs> I don't know it was just the whole experience was so good the concert was amazing they had such good energy so good live I'll probably post like some TikTok clips or something, but oh my goodness, what a day. Now, what should I talk about first? The amount of freebies I got at this concert or my snapshots? Let's save the snapshots for last because oh my gosh, I, I'm just so happy about them. So let me just say that 4X, you guys are some of the best fans, one of the best fandoms out there because... I have never received this amount of stuff for free at a concert in my life. Like, have there been freebies? Yes. Have I gotten a little baggie full of freebies? Like, a baggie full of freebies? This isn't all from one person. I shoved it all in this one bag. But I'm saying, it fills this whole bag. That's crazy. So, let's go through them. I think there's a couple people's, like, handles in here as well. So, firstly, this is someone, I think, except for this one. I think that was from some... Or, I don't remember. I think that was someone else. So we're going to leave that one aside. But these were all made by somebody that I met on Twitter. We've been mutuals for a while now. And they had made all these bracelets and they said they were going to hold some for me. And I said they did not have to. And then they found me later anyway and gave me all of these bracelets. So we have an if you know, you know one. Actually, I think this was from someone else. Hold on, hold on, hold on. That was also someone else. This could potentially be them. I don't know. These ones for sure are all from the same person. Yeah. So it says, this one says Omega X, this one says Omega X, this one says If You Know You Know, and this one says Touch, which is a phenomenal song. But I'm 100% I'm, I'm certain at least these four were all made. And then I really do think this one was as well. So I'm going to throw that in there. Because I remember somebody came up to the line, was giving one out at a time. And I think that was before I realized that it was the person that I had been talking to on Twitter the whole time. So um, they came back later and gave me these while I was standing in the pit. So I appreciate that so, so much. And then, like I said, I think this was made from someone else because I remember them coming up to me and the, the, okay, the lettering is different, so that makes sense. But I remember them coming up to me and asked me to pick a bracelet. They didn't know who I was, but um, I chose the green one. And I remember saying, I'm an in-citizen, so I will take green. <laughs> so all of those bracelets crazy and there was another person coming around with little badges and they had a handgun and that's where i got it looks like these were originally from japan so i actually want to take it out of here i never did so yeah it's a little like badge button but here he is they had like one of two members and i, I was like I'll, I'll take handgun so here we are super cute then i have another bracelet and oh no i think their handles fell out of here i know that hold on let me check this baggie Ugh, i think i may have lost their handles no but i do have them on twitter so let me explain a little story quickly this is another person who messaged me on twitter when i had stated what my vip number was i was trying to find people like around me because i was like i'm there by myself first of all let me talk about that for a second i was there by myself and it never once felt like i was there by myself everyone was so kind every single person i met in the line was the best to me so nice to me people recognize me it was just what a, what an experience oh my god I, I like i just i can't so anyways this person um ended up finding me in the line because we had the same um number cues and they gave me one of their freebies so it says 4x on it oh my gosh and then i have a little candy so yeah they were from chile so like this is a little chilean candy and i'm very excited to try it and i know that i had oops I had their handles in that baggie and I lost it, but I do have the one girl's Twitter. And then we have another little freebie. So this all came in the baggie, but we have another bracelet and another one that says Omega X. I got so many bracelets. I'm just oh, so happy. And this was a gen specific freebie bag. So I got this photo. So basically when people are coming around, they're like, who's your bias? I kept alternating between my three. So I would get like a good mix of stuff. Um, and then here's their handle. So there's their Twitter. I'm going to make sure I follow them. And uh, yeah, so that was that one. And then the same people who did the cup sleeve were going around with extra stuff. So I got another hair tie. I actually think one or two of these high shoes came with this gen as well, but I had mixed things up. So there is that. Then I have another little 
freebie bag here. This is a handgun specific, I can't speak anymore, a handgun specific one. So we have this little photo of him, super cute. And then we have another bracelet. Oh, this is from the same person, I think. Yeah, same handle. So there is that, definitely gonna follow them. And then I have this bracelet, which is stunning. Look at these little butterfly beads and star beads. This is gorgeous says Hengum. You guys are all so freaking talented. I want to make bracelets for the next show I go to. I'm going to Woods. I don't think I'm going to have time, but maybe I should. Maybe I will. Anyway. Oh, and then I think with that Hengum one, if it was the same, these two high chews came from them as well. Oh my gosh. And then this, this little um, decal. Oh my God. There's the cutest little boy at this concert. Oh my God. I don't know how old he was, but he was like I don't even think he was a teenager yet. I don't know. He was so cute. He was giving out freebies and you can tell he was like just such a big fan. And he was asking me who my bias was and I asked him who his bias was. His bias was Hyuk, by the way. And then when he went up for group photos, he sat in front of Hyuk and he was so emotional and it was so cute. We were all cheering for him. It was honestly the cutest moment. Hyuk was making little hearts with him. Oh, what a moment. What a moment. It was just so cute. And I really appreciate him coming up to me and giving me these little decals. Such a cute kid. Oh my God. And then I have some, oh, the same um, bubble tea person gave me another sticker. So I have two of those. Then there was people who were coming around with these. I unfortunately do not have their handle, but I do have that it says Chicago on the back, which is concert specific. That always makes me happy. And then I have like a bunch of photo cards and I don't remember what came with what. So I'm just gonna show them all, but we have a handgum and then concert date thing here. We have a Jen, a group photo, another one of those <laughs> um, handgum, another group photo, and then this, which I think is an official photo card, if I'm not mistaken. Do I have this? I might. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. I didn't even realize that that was there. Then I have this little baggie with some more photos in it. When I tell you, people are just, you guys are too good. What a great fandom, just saying. So I think we do have some handles here. Oh my gosh. Oh wait. Oh no, there's two here and I feel like I've mixed things up. Oh no. Well, anyway, here's one. And it says, we hope you enjoy the concert and thank you for loving Omega X. And then there are their handles. I have to follow all of these people. We have a sticker. I think this is a Jahan pack. <gasps> I'm so excited. And then I have this as well. And I don't remember who goes to what. And I so I'm so sorry, but please follow everyone. And then I believe this is when I asked for a Jahan specific thing. And we got a whole bunch of photos, which are going. Oh, I think they gave me two of the same one by accident. But these are all going in my bullet journal. Last freebie that I got, and one of my favorites is this little keychain i had it attached to my lanyard while i was um at the show and it is a jahan specific key ring it has this little ox um safety pin with beads oh just so cute and such a cute photo oh my god i'm in love so last but not least first of all thank you to everyone who gave me anything thank you to anyone who came up to me who knew who i was said hello who didn't know who i was and still talked to me because i was alone um and all the friends that i made i made so many friends guys so many friends like it was just one of the best concerts and one of the best experiences i've ever 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 had so last but not least we have my snapshots so this happened at the end of the concert like i said um I took photos of my three biases, so I have a photo with Jehan, Jen, and Hengum, and man oh man, I wish I had money to take photos with every single member because I would have, but conversion rates for me were not making that a possibility, so oh, that's why I really just hope they can like come to Toronto maybe one day, or I don't know, I hope I have another opportunity and I'd love to get more snapshots with them, but let's start with Jen. This one is so cute i really wish that the person was standing a little closer because we're kind of far away in the photo but that's okay because look at us look at us he's so cute oh my goodness and i also will point out that i'm a very short not very short i feel like i'm kind of average but people tell me i'm very short so i'm a short person jen's also not a very tall person and he's still uh taller than me so Anyways, that gives you context to my height, I guess. So there I am. I don't know why my fingers look so damn long. It's probably my nails, but 
I love this photo. I just really wish it was a little more uh, cropped. You know what I mean? But it's so, 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 so cute. Super cute. I'm so happy. Next up, we'll look at my photo with Jehan. Again, I'm short, but he, he crouched down for me, as you can kind of tell in this photo. He's also a little bit in front of me. So um, it makes me look, I don't know, like we're, we're on the same level, but I obviously still look small, I think. I don't know, but he's so pretty. Oh my gosh. What a cute, cute, cute cute boy i love him so much and i love this polaroid i feel like out of all the polaroids i've taken at any concert so far these have been my favorite um i don't typically love how i look in them most of the time but i do really enjoy these ones and then last but not least we have hangum and this was my favorite pose out of all of the ones that i could have chosen and i love how cropped so i kind of just wish that like me and jen were as cropped up and close up as me and hangum are but that's okay because look at us look at us oh my gosh so cute again my fingers look very long but anyway oh such a good experience i can't i'm gonna wrap up this album i'm gonna put these photo or not photo cards these polaroids in a safe place i'm going to cherish every single one of these freebies use them in my journal wear the bracelets eat the candy <laughs> and i'm gonna use the shit out of this tote bag so okay <laughs> now that i've talked about everything um we can kind of wrap up this video it's going to be a long one i am so sorry but i just needed to talk about how amazing this concert was for me i don't know if i'll ever experience another i mean i probably will but like chicago as a city i could easily see myself living there i made so many friends actually i think I don't think a lot of people I met were from Chicago itself, but I think a lot of the people I did meet go to Chicago constantly for concerts. And honestly, moving forward for any like K-pop concerts that don't come to Toronto, rather than going to New York, I think I'm going to continue going to Chicago because it's just like my home away from home, it feels like. I don't know. I really have a connection with Chicago. So... Anyways, thank you so much for sitting through me talking for like a half an hour about this damn concert. Stan Omega X, please, if you haven't listened to them yet, I don't know what you're waiting for. They are the most precious human beings you will ever, ever, ever meet. So thank you for watching. Don't forget to check out the links below for both Tokyo Treat and Sakadako. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.